question is discuss the intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids so we have to find the intensity of light output light that means one polaroid is in the vertical position another polaroid is in horizontal position suppose an ordinary light enters into this first polaroid this is p1 of course this is p3 the light beam enters through this first polaroid and follows this path and then the light will be blocked here because of third polaroid is in the horizontal manner that means the angle between p1 and p3 is 90 degrees so here the question is actually if there is two polaroids p1 and p3 then the light ray does not enters from this polaroid so we have to enter one more polaroid in between these two polaroids that is p2 here we have to enter one more polaroid the angle between p1 and p3 is 90 degrees so this is p2 by rotating this polaroid we can get the output beam here that means without disturbing of the polaroids first and third we can get uh, the intensity of light by rotating this middle polaroid so that is the question so how much angle we have to put to get uh, maximum intensity from p3 if there is no p2 that means there is no intensity at this position so we have to rotate it so first of all according to mallas law we know i is proportional to cos square theta i means the intensity the output intensity or resultant intensity is proportional to cos square theta then cos square theta that means when let us suppose this is p1 this is p2 these two are parallel with each other then the angle between these two polaroids will be zero that means the theta will be zero then it will get maximum intensity here so that means cos theta means cos zero means one so here this is equal to i not into cos square theta where i not is maximum intensity so let us uh, consider this diagram both are same this diagram and this diagrams are same so let i not be the intensity of polarized light after passing through first polaroid polarizer p1 here this is ordinary light ordinary light when this ordinary light enters into this polaroid it becomes like this that means only one sided vibration that is vertical vibration okay light so let uh, the output intensity of i1 is i1 is equal to i not means maximum intensity cos square theta the angle between the incident ray and emerged ray is uh, theta is equal to zero here so cos square zero that gives i1 is equal to i not so the maximum intensity will be i1 then the intensity of light after passing through the second polarizer p2 is then 
after passing through the polarizer second polarizer so let us uh, draw a free body diagram suppose this is p1 vertical direction this is p3 the direction is horizontal so in between these two polaroids this will be like this which is making some angle so let us assume this is p2 the angle between p1 and p2 that means the pass angle between p1 and p2 is theta let us assume and p2 and p3 will be pi so according to this diagram theta plus theta plus pi is equal to 90 degrees according to this diagram so theta is theta but pi is equal to 90 minus theta so we have to express the angle in terms of theta only so just i assumed this value as pi now the intensity after after the passing through polaroid or polarizer p2 is i2 is equal to i not into cos square theta next this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 now here theta is the angle between pass axis of polaroids p1 and p2 p1 and p2 angle is theta and p1 and p3 are crossed the angle between pass axis crossed means mutually perpendicular p2 and p3 will be 90 minus theta because of pi is equal to 90 minus theta now we have to find the intensity of light emerging from p3 from p3 the output beam how much that we have to find so let us take uh, according to Mahler's law for third polaroid i3 is equal to i2 into cos square 90 minus theta so i3 is equal to i2 into i2 means the intensity of light emerged from second polaroid so we know what is i2 so this is equation number 3 now put equation 2 in equation 3 now eliminate this i2 with this value that means i3 is equal to i2 means i naught into cos square theta into write this cos square 90 minus theta then i3 is equal to i naught into i naught means maximum intensity cos square theta into cos 90 minus theta means sin theta that means sin, sin square theta so we can write i3 is equal to i naught into sin square theta into cos square theta so here we have to solve this in further so multiply and divide by 4 at rhs now multiply and divide by 4 so i3 is equal to i naught into 4 divided by 4 4 by 4 sin square theta into cos square theta so this can be written as i naught by 4 into 4 sin square theta 
into cos square theta. Now simplify this equation i naught by 4 within the bracket make it uh, whole square of this total expression. So this 4 becomes 2 sin square becomes sin that means sin theta this is cos theta i3 is equal to. So i3 is equal to i naught by 4 into 2 sin theta cos theta means sin 2 theta sin 2 theta whole square since 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta so i3 is equal to i naught i naught by 4 into sin square 2 theta. So, for minimum intensity that means i3 is equal to 0 when the i3 becomes 0 that means when theta is 0 theta is 0 then this total expression will be 0 that is i3 is equal to 0 for maximum intensity maximum intensity then according to this value sin 2 theta is equal to 1 the sin 2 theta value becomes 1 when 2 theta is equal to 2 theta becomes 90 degrees then theta is equal to 90 degrees divided by 2 then theta is equal to 45 degrees so the expression is i3 is equal to i naught sin square 2 theta divided by 4 will be maximum at at theta is equal to 45 degrees. So, if you substitute this 45 degrees in this expression we get i3 is equal to i naught into sin square 2 into 45 divided by 4 then i3 into i naught by 4 that means sin square sin square sin square 90 degrees sin square 90 means sin 90 means 1 sin square 90 means 1 square so i3 is equal to i naught by 4 so i naught by 4 i naught is maximum intensity which is emerging from first polaroid maximum intensity but i naught by 4 that means this is i naught whenever it crosses this second polaroid and third polaroid this intensity becomes i naught by 4 that means the intensity decreases 4 times ok this is this question belongs to wave optics but this question was asked in uh, supplementary examination of uh, AP, AP Inter May 2023 examination. This question was asked. Okay, actually this was an important list, but uh, never asked this question. But suddenly this question was asked. Okay, so this is very very easy question. Okay practice the steps and uh, if possible make it short 
shortcut then uh, you can write in your examination okay thank you